Dude, look at all the shrooms. So you got some crazy mushrooms growing in your bales? Boy, I sure do. And they seem to come up out of nowhere. Hey, but stick around in the video and I'll show you a time lapse of these guys coming up. Almost like something out of a horror movie. Uh, you wake up one morning, you come out to check on your bales, and they're just completely covered in these alien looking mushrooms. And they just seem to pop out of nowhere overnight you know one day your bales can be perfectly fine and the next day they're just absolutely covered in this fungus so what's going on well actually this is completely normal and really it just indicates that your uh, conditioning process uh, was actually quite successful so after the bacteria get done breaking down uh, a good portion of the straw, that's when the fungi will come in and start to take up the nutrients uh, that were released from the straw after the bacteria broke it down. So it's this whole cycle that's going on. And so now the, the fungi is coming in and it's going to take up a lot of those nutrients and even break down even more. And so the cycle continues and now we have the, the mushroom fruits. And uh, you know, if you ever get into mushrooms, it's really a fascinating study. Uh, and really what the mushrooms are is just the, um, the fruits or the reproductive organism of a much uh, larger expansive organism known as um, the mycelium, which have pretty much completely colonated this bale now. And uh, it's just this giant, uh, even if you think of the internet, almost that's kind of what mycelium is it just kind of connects everything uh and in this uh you know the mushrooms the the mycelium that uh, these mushrooms belong to might actually stretch all the way down your line of bales and it might all be one uh, organism so it's really fascinating uh, now these particular mushrooms um i'm not an expert so i'm not going to try to identify them i think i know what family they're in uh but just generically known as uh, ink caps or inky caps and are basically they're harmless they really are so if your pets come along and happen to eat one uh, chances are you don't have to worry about anything uh, most of the time the mushrooms that are going to come up will be harmless however i don't recommend uh, consuming any mushroom unless you have them um, uh, positively id'd by an expert uh, and chances are these aren't going to taste very good anyway. Now you might be wondering, uh, is this something I have to worry about? Well, no, absolutely not. Um, like I said, it's just a good sign that the conditioning of your bales has gone very well. And uh, it's just the, the continued cycle of composting and breaking down the straw. But with that being said, um, yeah, they're pretty annoying. Actually, they can be quite annoying, uh, especially when you've just sown seeds in your bales and uh you know you're just starting to get little sprouts and stuff and next thing you know this mountain of mushrooms comes up and just kind of pushes everything out of the way that can be um, a little bit discouraging maybe a little bit annoying but you know i haven't found that they really cause too many problems uh, one thing i do notice is if if a mushroom um, if one of these mushrooms comes up next to a plant and uh, these these caps will start to wither away during the day and it'll turn into like this inky substance. If that gets on the leaves, uh, it can have some effect on the leaves and I've had some leaf die off uh, because of it. Now, when I come out in the mornings and I look at, um, I check my bills as I do every morning. If I see the mushrooms growing up uh, right next to the plants, I'll just come through, pluck them, and toss them off to the side. Uh, you could toss them back onto the bales too if you want um, to release those nutrients back into the bales. I don't find it makes that big of a difference. But you know, besides being an annoyance, um, it's, it's actually kind of a welcoming sight. Uh, when I see these mushrooms, I know that I've done my job properly. Uh, these bales are breaking down very well. And I know that the plants that are gonna grow in these bales uh, will have plenty of nutrients uh, to take up and they're gonna be very happy.
All right, guys, so no worry about the mushrooms. Just enjoy them for what they are. Uh, they're just kind of this alien sight that, uh, you know, you might not see too often. So it's kind of cool. And if you want to think about um, maybe colonizing these bales with your own mushroom spores next season, that's something you can certainly do. Uh, moi uh, oyster mushrooms actually grow very well in straw. So you could technically inoculate your bales with uh, something like an oyster mushroom spawn. And uh, instead of getting these guys, you'll actually get edible oyster mushrooms. So that's always something to think about uh, perhaps for next season. Now, I notice when these mushrooms come up, they come up early in the morning. Actually, they come up during the nighttime. And uh, early in the morning is when they open up and release their spores. And typically by mid-morning or early afternoon, these things have completely dried up. So these uh, shiny, uh, almost slimy looking caps uh, will dry up and then they'll just turn into this black inky mush and uh, they'll be gone. And then uh, tonight when it gets dark, a whole new flush will come up. And uh, it's really a cool thing to watch. So make sure you check out the time lapse video. It's, it's pretty neat to see. Hey, you got some crazy mushrooms on your bales too? I tell you what, I would love to see that. Hey, go to Facebook and look up the group, the Global Straw Bale Gardeners Collective. Go ahead and sign up there and as soon as you're in, post up some pictures of your mushrooms and your bales. I know I've seen some wild looking, uh, you know, mushroom pictures. I've seen some bales that were just absolutely covered in them i've seen different varieties of mushrooms and it's it's just always amazing to me so go over to the collective and post up some pictures man i would love to see them all right guys have a shroomy day and until next time we'll see you